Hi Erwan for Motion VFX. This video is dedicated to MMessage2, a complete solution to display notification, texting, and chatting on your project. To start with MMessage2, you will need to go to the Titles and Generators library. Inside the folders, you will find over 100 elements to use. You can preview the elements and each animations by skimming the thumbnails. All these elements are divided in different categories, like chats, icons, incoming calls, input and notification. Let's add a chat element, like this one. To add the element, you just have to drag and drop it on the top of your video. You can preview the result by pressing play. I will adjust the duration. All the elements are composed in two parts. The main element that you can move and the tracker, which is the parent of the main part. Meaning that when you move the tracker, the main part will follow. In the inspector, I will remove the animation out and I will reduce the size to fit in the frame. As you can see, if the main part is too far from the tracker, it could be difficult to manage both depending on the tracker position you will choose. So I will move the main part closer from the tracker. I will choose a target for the tracker in the background area in order to track the camera motion. I will put the player at the beginning of the titles and press track. MSH2 is based on the very powerful Mocha Planner Tracker. The analysis is done, let's see the result. My elements follow perfectly the camera now, so it's time to customize the element. First, we will change the name and replace it by Sarah. With the first drop zone, I will be able to add an avatar. In this case, I've got a picture of the young woman. I will click on it and apply it. I will adjust the size and the position inside the drop zone. Concerning the text, let's talk about our next travel. As many people, I will add some emojis inside the message. There is a blue button that gives you a direct access to the emoji from macOS 10. So you won't waste time to find the right menu in macOS. You will have a direct access inside Final Cut Pro 10. So I can add an island and a smiley. Now I will have to add the picture in the second drop zone, like this. So let's add the answer from her boyfriend, Marcin. For this, I will keep the same look, but without the drop zone. And I will reduce the size and customize the text. and add also some emojis. Modify the name and the hour. I will adjust the tracker position at the same place from the previous element and press track. To conclude the exchange, I will add a third message. Like before, I will track the element.
change the name and the hour. But I will remove the text and replace it by an animation from the icon reaction available in MSH2. I will need also to track this element. Let's see the result. To polish the overall effect, I will do some color correction using MFimlook. So first, I will select all the elements and create a cup on clip. In the effect library, I will go to the MFimlook folder. To preview each preset, you just have to skim the thumbnails. I would like to add a warm atmosphere, so I will select the picnic preset. I will customize some parameters. First, I will reduce the vibrance effect. I will also adjust the lens flare effect. I will lower it down a little bit. I will activate and adjust the size of the letterbox effect in order to hide a part of the lens flare. I will reduce the intensity of the lens flare. By adding some grain, I will have a better integration with the messages and the video background. I will reduce the intensity and the size of the grain. I will also quickly adjust the lens blur effect. To complete the color grading, I will add element from M Movie Lights. It will add some atmospheric lighting for a better cinematic result. There are 60 presets available. Here I will select this preset as it will add some light on the right side of the shot. Like this. Many parameters are available in the inspector, as you can fully customize the effect. You have also access to some parameters directly inside the viewer with the on-screen controls. I will reduce the opacity. The preset is affecting the letterbox. To resolve this issue, you just have to switch the position of the effect. Here a quick before and after. Let's see the result. For the second example, I will focus on the tracking part to see how to track even if your target disappear. The woman is texting on the escalator, but there is a pillar hiding the phone at one point. To start, I will add a message, like this one. I will position the tracker at the frame before the phone disappears behind the pillar. I will adjust the tracker box to fit the phone. I will activate the reverse mode in order to track backward and press track. The first part of the analysis is complete. I can check that the message element is following the motion of the phone. Now we'll move the playhead until the phone is visible again. I will uncheck the reverse mode and press track.
As you can see, the tracker will interpolate between the two positions, before the pillar and after the pillar. So now, I would just have to customize the template by adjusting the size and the position. I will add a picture inside the drop zone. I don't need the drop zone too, so I will remove it. And modify the text message by adding also some emojis. Everything is fine, the only thing is the fact that the message moves over the pillar. It should be better behind the pillar, like the woman and the phone. To resolve this problem, I will duplicate my video clip and put it over my message. I will deactivate this copy in order to see my message element. I will move the player just before the message is crossing the pillar. That will be the start of the copy. And the end of the clip will be when the message will be back again. I will activate the clip. I will go to the effect library and get the draw mask effect. Add it on the copy. I just have to draw a mask around the pillar. And when it's done, we can see the message. I will animate the mask by adding keyframes in order to follow the motion of the pillar. I will blur the edges by adding some feather and fall off. To complete the project, I will apply the same techniques for the second message and the third message and get this result. As for the first example, I will do some color correction. I will use a perfect duet M film look and M movie lights. On the cop and clip, I will add the chill M film look preset. I will adjust the lens blur effect to remove the blur on the messages. I will adjust the letterbox effect. Here, a before and after M-Film look correction. I will also add a movie lights effect. In this case, I would like to bring some light behind the back of the girl. I will add this effect, adjust the position with the on-screen controls. Like before, we need to switch the position between the two effects in order to have the letterbox over the M movie lights effects. I will reduce a little bit the bokeh opacity and the vignette effects. And it's done. Let's see the final result. To get more information about MSH2, MFilm Look, or MMovie Lights, only one address, motionvfx.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the MotionVFX YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.